All right, see, I'm just gonna go in here, huh? You may think exploding okay. bank safes exist only in the worlds of cartoon, coyotes, or action movies. Put your hands behind your heads and keep them there. But in the 19th and early 20th centuries, attempts at blowing up banks was a real thing. <laughs> Catch me if you can, coppers. <laughs> <laughs> Money by breaking the bank? When the Federal Reserve Bank of New York wanted to build a modern facility to hold gold bullion for the federal government in 1920, they turned to NIST for help. Let's make science. Scientists at what was then called the National Bureau of Standards were called on to fire up their blowtorches and get to work. Fire! They studied which materials were the hardest yeah. to blow up torch, and cut to pieces by building and then destroying a series of concrete structures at their campus in Washington, D.C. Out of the rubble arose a scientifically based answer. A system incorporating both steel and concrete was much stronger than one that relied primarily on the density of the building's walls. The results of NIST research saved the Federal Reserve $1.7 million. Money bag. It was truly a case where science saved the government money twice, once in construction cost savings and again through enhanced security. The changes that NIST suggested made the new fault five to ten times more secure than other bank vaults. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> The New York Federal Reserve Vault remains one of the most impenetrable in the world, containing more than a half a million bars of solid gold weighing more than 6,300 pounds. Today, NIST is hard at work on other security-related research, from the best forms of encryption to improving physical security for police officers and soldiers. Curious where NIST research will turn up next? Find us at www.nist.gov.